Hello, Margaret Desir. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me on today. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Part two. So I was speaking on the cartoons and how they seem innocent. Now I'm going to be speaking on certain things that we entertain when we were younger or even now. Certain things that we think are innocent again, but yet they are not. Not, excuse me, there are spiritual things going on behind the scenes. For example, when people die, when people pass on in our lives, it may be mother, father, brother, sister, child, grandparent, whatever it is, best friend. We as human beings, because we, we don't let go so easily and we don't understand sometimes, we uh, we then go out to the graveyard. And, and I'm not speaking about the day of burial and, you know, that's fine. That's a place of closure and so on. But they go out to the cemeteries, okay? A lot of people do this. Go out to the cemeteries, visit often, speak to them, uh, put flowers, cry out, or whatever the situation is, which is understandable from that point, that aspect. But in the cemetery, it's the place of the dead. Remember, the Bible says, let the dead bury the dead. Okay, so let's look at it seriously. Now, you go into a cemetery. Yes, you think it's your loved one, but the loved one is past. It's dead. When it, when a person is dead, that's it. There's no more communication. It is cut off from the physical world. Okay, we have no association. Oh, excuse me, no association with it, regardless of what the world would have us or you and I think. Okay, so in the cemetery is a dark place. There is a place. That place is a place where witchcraft takes place in wee hours of the night, from midnight on. Sometimes even before then, body parts are stolen, eyes, ears, tongues, whatever. People take the bodies. I mean, it can get very heavy. Do zombie-like things to it. Take people's souls. Fresh blood. It goes on and on and on. So now. You go to the cemetery, you're crying out, you're talking, but your family member is not hearing. They're no longer there. So it seems innocent, but what's there and what's listening are demonic entities, familiar spirits. They're taking in all the information that you're giving. Then there's going to come back to come haunt you, especially those people, those people who want to go to the psychic now, especially people who want to go to the fortune tellers, especially people who want to go to someone who can speak to the dead. Because they're not dead. They're familiar spirits. The dead is gone. They're not your relatives. They're not your ancestors. They're none of those. Those are demons. Listen, the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. They come back from years and years and years, long time ago, from the beginning, from the fall of Lucifer. They've been around, okay? They know how to come and how to change with time, but it's still the same tricks that they're doing. It's the same dark demons. So they're listening at the graveyard. They listen to all the cries. They listen to the emotional side of the individual as they're pouring out and they're monitoring them. Now they're taking home certain spirits, certain demonic entities. They are suffering now. Things are going on. Uh, the light is turning on and the TV and all kinds of stuff. And you're wondering what's going on. What's going on is they have monitored you. They have followed you. You have opened up a door and a portal, especially in the area of those who take the ashes home, okay? Take the ashes home in the jar, bring it and leave it in your room or leave it in certain, for what? I understand, I understand, I understand, but we gotta be careful. We've got to be careful. That's a form of idolizing the cemetery and that is also a form of idolizing, which opens up the door for the enemy as well. Okay, now you have these things in your house Things is going weird, you know, you're missing things, so on and so forth. We've got to be careful. We've got to be careful of the things that we do. Some people take the ashes, they put it in the water. Why? I don't know. Water marine kingdom is heavy. Water marine demons are out there. Why take the ashes and spread it over and say little things? I don't know. People have a way of dealing with things, but we have to be careful. That's what I'm saying. These are things that are not, a lot of people would not speak about, but you have to speak about it. We have to pay attention. It is real. Amen. So God bless you again. I will be doing part three. Okay. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.